have our final uh, part of this section where we're choosing the most helpful trig substitution. We have the integral dx over 1 minus 4x squared to the 3 halves power. So again, think about what, which trig identity would lend itself to look like this form. And we're going to want to use the following. 1 minus sine squared equals cosine squared theta. So when we have a number minus our variable squared, we're going to be using sine as our trig substitution. So we just need to figure out what the coefficient has to be. Now in this case, our number is already a 1, so we need to get rid of that 4 um, so that we have our identity set up correctly. So once we square it, we want it to have a coefficient of 1 fourth, so when we multiply the 4, it goes away and we get this. If you want to square something and get 1 fourth, that has to be 1 half. So we're going to have x equals 1 half sine theta, and on the test it's rewritten as 2x equals sine theta. So that's the trig substitution we would need to use in this problem.